Hello everyone, welcome to Best Monk Build 2.04. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this build somewhere before, but I low tweaked it so most newbies can actually use it without any special weapons or special armors. So let's check it out. I really don't have the... Oh, I took off my chest too. Uh, what happened is, um, I've actually mastered Torment 6 in Monk Build. If you check out my other video on the upper left hand corner, I'm going to post a link. Um, that's the monk tanking build for Torment 4 to 6. But um, before you reach Torment 4 to 6, uh, you want to use this build. This build is the best for farming normal split farm for legendaries plus rift farming. Uh, now again, I low tweak this build, so anyone can use it. Um, Anyone who reaches level 70 can use it. So, let's go over the rotation first. You want to get your ally up. And just keep on freezing. There's actually four viable builds for months in Reaper of Souls. Uh, this one being the best because for newbies, uh, you really don't have to tank stuff. The problem with Monk is Unlike any other class, we we don't have any range skills to attack stuff. All of our stuff are melee range, so we are very like we we get hurt a lot by being close to bosses, especially elites. That's why I make this build the most viable one for legendary farming plus riff. Before that, I'll try to use this one first because it's a faster way to farm legendaries. So first. Way of 100 fits. This one is a must. It does um, the most damage for a single target. Um, what I noticed is it's not just single target, it's actually a cone in front of me. So that one, get to the side. Tempest Rush, you want to use Northern Breeze. So it's just going to reduce your damage when you kill this thing here. Damn it. Mystic Fire Ally to increase your damage by 10 more percent. Sweeping Wind. Now this one is really important. A lot of people using, a lot of people demonstrating this build, they they use some other ones uh, simply because they have weapons or armors um, to help them increase their spurt. But for normal people like us um, who just got to level 70, you need to pick this one. It's going to increase your spirit per second by 4, and you need that as a beginner. Mantra Conviction Overwear, that's a monk standard, so nothing about that. Epiphany, uh, try to use fire, since you're stacking with your ally, that's fire too, and so... And eventually when you get um, good mana, I mean good spare regen, you want to switch this to Firestorm as well. So it's going to greatly increase your damage, but this build is for beginners, so let's stick with that. Transcendence, again, is for beginners, so you're going to regen your life, extra health for every spirit spent. A lot of people using this build, or demonstrating this build, they, they replace this with uh, Fleet Fooded or something else that's DPS, which really kills newbies. One with everything. Uh, that's a standard. Guardian's Path, this is a must. It's going to increase your spare regen by 35% with two-handed weapon. So you just pick any two-handed weapon, it's fine. This build works, to, this build needs a two-handed weapon to constantly keep this up. Now, what you're going to notice is since I'm using beginner's gear, uh, there are chances that my spirit is going to run out, but uh, it's going to be really minimal. And for beginner's gear, I try to maximize the benefit of this Northern Breeze build for you guys with these all these skills that I research. Momentum, you really need this one. So uh, you're going to increase your damage further by 15% for Northern Breeze. Why? Because Northern Breeze is actually doing pretty low damage, 285, but when you at 15% plus another 10% plus another 
plus another 16%, all of your damage adds up. Okay, so let's try it out. Make sure you pop this, sweeping wind. And start killing. Alright, hope you guys like this video and be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks. Now there goes our final boss, uh, Mafia, Malfia or Malfia or something. Now let's see what's inside. Um, well, what else is new? Feel free to use my pass key, you guys. I'm okay with that, and I got StarCraft. Uh, free to play, free to play Diablo 3. Hearthstone. I'll probably need one of these, so, um, you guys feel free to use the first two. World Warcraft. Anything new? First thing we get from this editor's edition is the soundtrack. I'm gonna post these soundtrack on YouTube later. And what is this? It's kind of bland. What is? Oh, this is the game itself. What the... That's really poor design. I mean, the back is just... Yeah, that's fine. Let's find out what's, what else is inside. Next thing is... Reaper of Souls... Behind the scenes! Yay! Sure, there's a lot of artwork. Hmm. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post these behind the scenes up later on my YouTube as well. Next up, Mafia. I wonder what you look like actually. We'll find out. Aha! Finally. Wait, what is this? Oh, a mouse pad! Yay! I I need one of these. Let's see what quality it is. Well, it's just a normal mouse pad, but um, it's kind of awesome. It's gonna probably convince me to play more. Let's put that aside. I just got just got this right from GameStop this morning. It just at least came out finally, and this is Reaper of Souls art book. Let's find out what's inside. I guess this, I guess this is like Fallen Star again. I guess this would be the main part of special edition. Yes, I knew Demon Hunter would be done on the first page. I mean, she's just so hot. Crusader. I like Crusader gameplay, by the way. Um, check out my videos. It's got Crusader gameplay. This is a Fe she barb. Yeah. Wait, or she Crusader. Alright, let's go through all the pages. Crusader. Looks more like Optimus Prime to me. Wow, I need to get this armor. This is like in a cartoon or something. 
Yeah, so I need to get this. Oh, there's one new feature in um, Reaper of Souls. It's called Transmorph. So you can definitely do this right now. I'm going to make a tutorial about that. So let's find out. <laughs> 